Hello everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to What's Cooking Tonight. I am Stacy Garcia. I'm sure there'll be one, two or three Garcias popping their heads in during this class, like usual. They never disappoint. Um, today we are gonna be making a really delicious, incredibly nutritious um, Italian lentil soup. I mm. love this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard Joe, Joe's excited. Um, today is kickstart orientation. It's a really big day in our house. It's very exciting. Um, the orientation goes from 6 to 7 p.m. So the last thing I want to do is figure out what's for dinner. So I'm going to be making the crock pot version, which you guys know I love crock pot recipes. I love being able to dump a bunch of ingredients around lunchtime and dinner time. Everything will be ready and um, to go. Because as you guys know, I try to keep my life as simple as possible, especially during these crazy times. So what you guys are going to need is lentils. Um, you can use red lentils, green lentils. It's really totally up to you. Today I'm going to be using green lentils. Hello, Miss Ava. I'm making Italian lentil soup. Mm, would you like to help me today? Yeah. Go wash your hands. Go wash up another room because I've got lentils mm. straining right there. Um, so I've actually dumped out one cup of lentils. I rinse them and they're straining right now. You always want to make sure you rinse your lentils. You're going to be using um, organic veggie broth, um, about eight cups, so two cartons worth. Um, my favorite thing <laughs> that I've kind of discovered over this quarantine is mirepoix. I don't know how I've gone so long with actually chopping my own vegetables. <laughs> this makes life so much easier. I used half in my vegan bolognese um, last night, so I'm gonna use the other half today. Um, if you don't have this handy, um, just celery, carrots, onions, chop them up all by yourself. But I'm going to show you how quick and easy and fast this is going to be to put everything together. Um, yes, darling? No, I just wanted to see what mirepoix is. Is that French for chopped veggies? Yes. Is it really? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah learn something new. <laughs> um, garlic. I always have peeled garlic on hand. It makes life so much easier. And then I'll get my little... Candy dandy garlic smasher. Love this thing. Um, oh, they're fun. Fire roast will be good. It's going to give it a kick. Um, diced tomatoes. These ones are going to be fire roasted, so they're going to have a little bit more flavor, which will be awesome. Um, and that's really about it. I serve mine with um, some plant-based Parmesan shreds on top. It's Shabbat tonight, so the Garcias always have a challah, so we're going to have some yummy bread to go with it, but it can really be served all, its, all, all on its own. Um, I don't have out my chard and kale. Um, that goes in at the very end of the recipe, um, about a minute or two before you serve, so I have that growing in my garden, so right before, I'm going to pick some kale and some chard, chop it up, and throw it in at the very, very end um, to make sure you get your greens in. It's a great way to get your greens in. Everyone loves this soup. It's awesome. It's easy. Can't go wrong with it. So we are going to start with about a tablespoon of um, avocado oil, my go-to oil when cooking. And we're just really going to dump everything in, you guys. This is why I love crock pots. It's like barely any time. Let's see. It's 12.06, okay? Let's see how long this takes. Easy. This is usually what takes the longest is chopping my own vegetables. Could it be easier? Um, I am going to get my lentils. I think I lost Ava. Ava went to go wash her hands. <laughs> she never came back. So I have one cup of lentils. I am going to put in the tomatoes. If you could tell, I was just watching Bridgington earlier. Such a good show. It makes me want to get lots of doilies and have tea parties all the time. I think I might have to do that soon. So I have a really large can. If you just have, you know, a smaller can, totally great. I think I'm going to use half of it because I might be too much using this whole, this whole can. I am going to crush some garlic. 
you know, if you guys have any food intolerances, have, um, you know, following the low FODMAP diet, if you have GI disorders, you can totally let, you know, leave out the tomato or the onion or garlic. Totally fine. Just kind of customize this to your taste buds and your needs. Get a spoon. I used about like four cloves of garlic. Again, it's all to taste. I'm gonna put in my two cartons of veggie broth. My mom ended up making this a couple days ago and so I got some of her soup. And even though I knew I was gonna be making this two days later, can't say no, it's such a delicious, healthy soup. Seasoning wise, um, a good Italian seasoning is what you're gonna need. You want oregano and basil and some salt and pepper to taste. I usually don't add any salt to be honest with you because there is salt in the broth. If I use a very low sodium broth, sometimes I'll add salt towards the end. Eva, Hi. thank you for joining us. Can I have orange? You can have an orange in just a little bit, okay? I'm just gonna mix this all together, and then I'm gonna add some seasoning. I am very generous with my seasoning. I will um, link the recipe so you guys can see exactly um, verbatim what it calls for, but I always go more with my seasonings because I like things lots really flavorful. Floppy's in your kitchen. Hi Floppy McFloppersons. <laughs> She's so floppy. Lily's ears have gotten really floppy over yeah. the last like 24 hours. It's really quite hysterical. Yeah, her, her ears like... You can pick no. her up if you want. My back isn't the best. Do I have best. to wash my hands? Oh, I'll do it because... Come here Lily. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, she's getting like bigger by the minute. This is silly Lily. You can see that her ears are very floppy because her ear has grown in the past 24 hours. So cute. You want to say hi, Luna? Come here, little Petunia. But no, it's like, she doesn't want to say hi to me. Um, Lily has no bones in her ears. They're so cute. But Luna has bones in her ears because she makes her ears. It's um, cartilage. You are. Eva, can you stir the soup, Angel Girl? Yeah. Thank you. Stirring. Stirring. Are you excited it's Friday? Stirring. Why? Well, huh? Why are you asking? Because I'm excited it's Friday. I love Fridays. I'm going to ground some fresh pepper. And spin. And I'm not going to put any salt in because, well, I'll put it in a slush. It's really not going to need it. Just a little. Go ahead. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's already on there, so just... Okay. That's good. I'm a professional cooker. You are a professional Stop. chef. I'll smite you, Lily. Stop fighting your sister. You're friendly to your sister. Stop fighting. Okay. So, thank you, sweetie. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like before it's cooked. I just give it a nice little stir through. Um, and again, I well, for the crock pot version, you can always do this, you know, stove top. Um, and there's options, and I'll show you the recipe. But on the crock pot version, I'm just going to put this on low for about like five hours. Um, and a couple minutes before it's ready, I'm just going to go to the garden. Ava's going to help me pick some kale and some chard. We're going to chop it up. Well, no, we're already done, honey. So I would put that in about a minute or two before you're ready to serve because you don't want it too <laughs> Girls. Um, so that's it. That is how easy it is. Six minutes, y'all. Six minutes. That's insane. Insane. So we're going to put this bad boy in. We're going to seal, and again, serve it with, you want to push the buttons? Yeah. Power? Power. Mode is low. Perfect. We want it on low. 
So go down till it says six. Uh, let's do five and a half. Five? No, one more down. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Um, so yeah, serve it with your favorite bread. You can serve it with some crackers so or nothing at all because there's plenty of carbs with the lentils and lots of protein. So it's a really, really good vegan um, dish filled with lots of nutrients and lots of protein. All the great macros and micros. Um, so from our silly home to yours, have a beautiful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. It's going to be a rainy one here in SoCal. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peaches!